In this presentation, we will enter and adjust an entry related to prepaid insurance. Time to engage with Sage 50 Cloud Accounting. Here we are in our Get Great Guitars file. We're going to start off by opening up our financial statements, going to the reports drop down, going on down to those financial statements, opening up that balance sheet. So we're going to open up this balance sheet as of uh, the second period or February. Going to say OK to complete the process of opening it up. We'll scroll on down to the, uh, what well, we don't have to scroll down, that's right up top. We're going to be in the prepaid insurance. Now, prepaid insurance is that uh, is kind of like the primary example for anything that could be prepaid. There's any kind of thing that could be prepaid, but insurance is always prepaid. That's why it's going to be the primary example. When we put prepaid insurance on the books, what we're saying, the typical method on an accrual basis is to say, hey, accounting department, every time you enter the transaction for prepaid insurance, don't put it to insurance expense. Simply put it into prepaid insurance every time. And then when at the end of the month or year, we will do an adjusting entry, taking a proportion out of it according to how much had been used uh, each time period and recording that portion on the income statement. And that's going to be the process we have. Now, if, if it so happened that the accounting department had expensed it and we want to be correct on an accrual basis, then we'd have to go to the prepaid or the insurance expense and take out some of the expense and put it on the books as a prepayment. So this would be the method that you would typically want to do with a prepayment. And again, you could do it with any kind of prepayment. It might be prepaid rent or something like that, where you paid the rent in advance. Or if it's computer software, for example, a common uh, example right now, you might pay for software for, you know, 12 months into the future and have a similar kind of prepayment issue as with the prepaid insurance. So anything that you're paying and you're going to get future use of, the, you have the similar kind of concept here that you could record the prepayment, the insurance just being the primary example because it's pretty much always applicable. All right, so then we're going to say that we have this 11000 and we're going to say that's for one year and of insurance, and only one month has passed as of February. So we're going to divide that by 12 and say that then 916 of it and 66 cents, and we'll just we'll, and has been consumed as of this point in time. So what we need to do then is reduce or record the expense of the 916 and reduce the prepaid insurance by the 916, which will leave us with what is going to be left in here is going to be 11 months. So this times 11 should be left. That's what's going to be left after the end of the day here. The nine, the, uh, what happened here? I divided it. Something funny happened. 11, let's do that again. 11,000 divided by 12, 916 times then 11 so there's the 10,083 will be left okay so let's do the adjusting entry this is a typical adjusting entry 11,000 divided by 12 and that's going to be the amount that we will be uh, recording this for let's open up our our general journal entry going back to the uh, entry screen so I'm going to go back on over here we're going to go to the tasks drop down we're going to go to the general journal entries. I'm going to make it large. We're going to enter it as of the cutoff date, which is going to be 02 29 days in 2020. And we're going to be saying that uh, it's going to go to insurance expense. It's going to be the debit. Insurance expense. So I'm going to select this item. We're going to go on down. I'm looking for the expenses on the right side. So we're down here in the expenses. I'm looking for an insurance expense. So it's had some kind of... Of insurance there we go and this is going to be an ADJ entry which stands for adjusting entry and that was for the 916.67 and then the credit is going to go to the decrease of the prepaid insurance so we'll select the drop down we're looking for a prepaid insurance that's going to be going down with a credit of the 916.67 so there we have it and then uh, let's go ahead and record this and so I'm going to say save to do so and then close this one out up top we're going to close this out we're going to go back to the old financial statements back to the old balance sheet and we're left here with that 10,083 which is 11 months 11 months still having not been consumed as of yet in other words that's going to be the 11,000 that we paid divided by 12 times 11 months so the 10,083, 33, 33, 33, but then we round it to like the pennies. And then we're going to go to the 
P and L or profit and loss. And so let's do that. And we're going to go to the income statement, otherwise known as. And then we'll uncheck these ones because we don't want the zero balances in there. And here we have it. So this we should have insurance down here. Here's the insurance of the 916. So if I double click on that 916 on the insurance expense, there's the journal entry. Double clicking on that, that of course takes us to that journal entry. So now we have expensed the uh, 916 which is the which is good because because even though we paid the 11,000 because then if we compare say February to March we'll have the same 916 916 comparison based on the usage as opposed to if we used a cash basis method and simply expensed the 11,000 and then compared uh, this period to the next period this month to next month then you'd have a huge expense 11,000 and no expense in the following month even though both months had benefited from the payment that has been made. And you can see if you have a lot of prepayments, again, like software is, is if, you know, if you're paying for the whole software in month one, uh, then, then you, can, you can have some huge distortions in your financial statements when you're trying to think about how good your months were from month to month. So uh, it's, it's good practice. It, you can see how it would be useful then for comparison for matching purposes to use the prepaid concept insurance again is of course the primary prepayment uh, that example because it's always prepaid by definition you're paying for insurance before you get the insurance but same kind of concept can apply and and you could think about it being applied to many many different uh, areas that you might prepaid such as those subscription based items oftentimes like things like software so that's going to be it for now let's get out of here